Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today what we're gonna talk about is game improvement irons, and we're gonna do what we did last time with drivers, and we're gonna put this to the test. So numbers we're gonna look for is carry distance, and then I wanna know my dispersion front to back. I wanna know if I really hit it, how far does it go, and then I'm gonna miss it, so when I miss it, how short does it go? That's the numbers I'm gonna to use to compare these irons and let you know which one I feel is the best one. All right, so you're looking to get fit for golf clubs and you're not sure what direction you wanna go. What I see from most people is those individuals who are looking for game improvement irons are mostly people who have high handicaps, they are looking for more distance, or they need help getting the ball in the air. So the cool thing with all the game improvement irons is they're designed to help get the ball in the air, but the loss are jacked down, so your seven iron's like a six iron. Now you get more distance, your ball goes higher, which means you carry it further. So the irons that I'm gonna be using today, I have the Cobra Dark Speed, they're all seven irons, by the way. I have the Ping G430. I have the Cleveland Launcher. The Mizuno JPX 923 Hot Metal. I then also have the Callaway AI Smoke. The TaylorMade QI. And the Titleist T350. So all these irons are in the same category. I didn't go super game improvement, so we're gonna be as basic as possible. These are all stiff flexes, same category. Some of them are dynamic golds, 105s. Some of them are the Modus 105. So they're very similar, maybe a little off in how they flex and all that stuff, but we're gonna get some good numbers and we'll see. So I'm gonna start with the TaylorMade first. And like I said, I'm not gonna hit as many balls as I did last time. We're mostly just gonna hit about three with each. I'll tell you what I like and don't like about them, and then uh, we'll let the numbers decide. So let's start with TaylorMade. And I'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible. So my normal seven iron with my irons, I play the Ping I-230s, goes about 170 carry on average. And I typically launch it around 17 degrees. These aren't the shafts I normally play with my irons. So like that last one was 17.3 degrees of launch. I'll give you all the numbers and stuff after. So I've hit three balls with the TaylorMade. Sounds pretty good. Now keep in mind I'm hitting off a mat and I'm not hitting off of grass, but the sound is pretty good. That contact was pretty good with all of them as well. That last one carried 185. So you can see right off the bat, it jumped up 15 yards because this seven iron's like a six iron. So I'm a fan of the TaylorMade QI iron. It's something that a lot of people do gravitate to. But again, I'll let the numbers decide once we're done. So now I have the Cleveland Launcher XL. That also looked very good, the Taylor made. Now, I don't play these irons. And I'm going to try to keep the look out of it because I like thinner and all these are big. Right off the bat, I noticed the Cleveland launch is higher, so that'll be interesting to see how that affects carry. And like I said last time, I'm trying to keep it as consistent as possible. Not bad for my first six shots of the day. Cleveland Launcher XL, it's got a good look to it. And I noticed off the bat, the ball went higher. 
I'm definitely interested to see how that affected carry distance and also my dispersion front to back. Um, and obviously how much will the wind affect it and all that stuff. But again, really good iron. And actually the price is really good on these too. Next one I'm going to hit is going to be the ping. So the ping G430 is on the second year of its cycle. And it's a, it's a good one. Not as much offset as they've had in the past. And like I said, if you're someone who's looking for distance or height, these are all good options for you. Like you'll see, that launches. And these are all normal specs. There's no lie angle change or anything like that. I actually play standard. There's no power specs in these. The cool part with all these is they go. Like I can see all three of these. They just, they're like a rocket. Out of the three I've hit, yes, I'm a ping guy, but to me, this has always felt really good just when I've hit it for fun. Out of the three I've hit so far, based on my personal feeling and what I feel when I hit the golf ball, ping is number one so far. Now, again, numbers decide, I don't. Let's add in. So the next one we're gonna hit is the Mizuno. So we're going to hit three balls again. Mizuno, high quality iron at a fantastic price. That was a little mess. Very good iron at a fantastic price. That was heavy, but that was me. I, I do enjoy Mizuno irons. That one was a little heavy too. I didn't hit this one that well, but I'm curious what the numbers say. So that last one I hit was 177 yard carry and I missed it. So it's keeping up with what we're looking for. The Mizuno, I thought, it's always been good. I've never had real um, issues or concerns with Mizuno product. Their irons are really, really good. And like I said, at a good price too, so can't beat that. Next one we're going to fire is the Co I'm sorry, the Callaway AI Smoke. The driver was up there in performance, so I'm curious to see what the iron does. One thing I've noticed over the years with all these game improvement irons is the look has gotten better. That's a solid golf club right there. That feels really good. Sounds good, too. With this Callaway, I feel like there's a trampoline effect coming off the face. I feel the ball jump. That was a miss hit. But again, that's okay. We're going to see what the numbers say. We'll let all the numbers load in. Next one we're going to do is Cobra. Three balls. 
I'd say the Cobra, maybe it's the just me. It looks a little bigger than the other ones. Similar to like the Cleveland XL launcher. Sounds good. I don't know if I like the color scheme. I'm more traditional with your chrome. Not the quote unquote dark colors. The one thing you'll notice when I hit golf balls is no matter the club, I don't launch it that high. I mean, I do, relatively speaking, but it's not some crazy number. All right, last one is going to be the Titleist. And after I hit this, I'm going to give you my top three based on what I like. And then I will check out the numbers and see what those say. I'll tell you right off the bat, just in briefly looking, every single club I've gained a minimum 10 yards just with a game improvement iron. Because the lofts are jacked, ball goes a little higher. So title. That was on the toe. So a little miss. That was a little better. That was smashed too. That was hit hard. So Titleist felt really good too. You know, it's funny. All of these irons are good. So you really can't go wrong picking whatever iron you choose. To me, when I go get fit, I think of three things. I want to know the numbers. What does it feel like in my hands? Is the weighting good? Does it look good to my eye? Right? Those are kind of two in one. And then the last thing, and you hear people talk about this, is the ball jumping, but in a good way. If I hit it right on the screws, I don't want to be surprised and it goes 30 yards further. I want to know, hey, if I'm going to hit it 180, or 170, or 140, that it goes that number consistently. Sure, you might get one that goes five yards further, you might get a couple that go less, but I wanna be consistent in those numbers. So, based on my own feeling, and what I liked, my top three game improvement irons of 2024, and I'll hit them again, those top three, I would put the Callaway up there, I would put the ping up there. And then my third one is very close. I didn't hit it very well, but I've always enjoyed Mizuno. It's between the Mizuno and the TaylorMade. And I think I'm going to go with the TaylorMade. The Mizuno was a close fourth based on what I felt was my top three. And I didn't hit it that solid, and maybe that sways it a little bit. Mizuno's a great product, though, and they do a really good job. But my top three are the Ping, the Callaway, and the TaylorMade. I'm going to hit those three again. But before I do, I just want to talk numbers a little bit. So if we look at carry distance... My longest with the TaylorMade was 193 carry, right? We were talking 23 yards I gained from my normal 7-iron. The Ping was 192. The Callaway was also 193. So those are right there. And when I go to dispersion, to me, the TaylorMade had a little more front to back. You know, my furthest was 193, but I was averaging right around 184. 
So that threw in a pretty good, I mean, that's a big gap. That's 10 yards almost um, front to back. That's me missing the green. The ping was right around that 190 on average, a couple yards front and back. And the Callaway was like 187 on average. My furthest was 193, like I said. So all three of them were pretty good. I thought the TaylorMade was a little more jumpy. Right, I nuke one at one ninety three, but I didn't average that. Um, so let's hit those three real quick and see what we get. I'm going to start with a Callaway and just get some numbers here. I'll just hit one or two with each. So I got my top three: Callaway, Ping, and TaylorMade. Yes, I play ping, but I don't play the 430 irons. The Callaway, to me, it feels like you get that jumpy feeling, but the ball doesn't, like, rock it off of there in a good way. I don't mean that in a bad way. And it looks clean. That was heavy. Got a little long there. Let's do one more. Let's get a good one. That one was pretty good. Let's hit some pings. Got a little more. The face on the ping looks a little bigger than the Callaway. That could just be the design factor. Um, and it's got a little, a touch more offset, but not much. Most people who play game improvement irons are probably slicers of the golf ball and need a little help curving it left. I mean, this just feels so good. I mean, those two, it was night and day between the ping and the Callaway to me. To me. Now, keep in mind, I play ping. So I've hit that many times. I'm comfortable with it. I like the way it looks. It does, it does got a little bigger face. Now the tailor made. A little clunky. Last one. So I'd put TaylorMade number three on my list. And it's really close between the Callaway and the Ping. Personally, based on contact today, I would pick the Ping G430. But the Callaway AI Smoke is very close, number two. And I think the look of the Callaway is a little better than the ping in terms of how big the face looks. But the feeling off the face and just contact in general with the ping, you can't beat it. So I'm going to put both of them. Ping's a little ahead of the Callaway, but they're very close. So if you're someone looking to get fit for golf clubs, make sure you try out the ping G430 and the Callaway AI Smoke Iron. TaylorMade, close number three. And then I would say Mizuno number four. Callow, I'm sorry, Titleist number five, Cobra, and the Cleveland towards the end of the pack in this one. Stay tuned. I'm going to have a player distant iron review coming up in the next couple days. But for now, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like the video, comment below, and share this content with family and friends.